Hey everybody, it's good to see you all again. This segment is just to kind of let you guys know what is going on in this episode. So in this episode, there is a situation um, towards the end or anywhere in this episode, there is a blank. That means there's no sound coming in the episode. And you might think that is your fault. That is my fault. You can blame me, say it was my fault because that is editing problem and that's because of recording and the recording platform that I use. If that happens to be in the in the episode, if that's in it, um, what you need to do is to just disregard it. Don't worry about it. Consider it like an ad break. Consider it like a break. Consider it like we're taking a five minute break. Consider it like that. So no freaking out. No need to worry. Make sure you guys enjoy the episode. Enjoy what's in it. And y'all have a good one. And enjoy this one. Really enjoy it and have fun. And please disregard the blanks in there because other than breaks. Hope you guys enjoy this episode. And thank you guys for understanding and for your cooperation. There we go. There we go. And my lucky number three, everybody. This is Sobe. Um, you know, all right, I'm gonna judge it because basically he's he's the one that I've always wanted. Well, he's one of the people anyway. I'm not gonna say he's the one I always want. I'm gonna let me just revert. I meant he's one of the ones that I've always wanted. Like this is a dream come true. Like for you to be here, you're one of my favorites. Your music is you know out of this world, and you know you've been grinding for a while. So I'm so excited to finally have you. Welcome. Yeah, thank you for having me. Yeah, of course. Anything for you. You're a legend. Anything for you. I mean, wow, I've seen a lot coming from you, like, years past. Um, Because firstly, um, firstly, six years, congrats on six years um, that you've been um, on there. Like, congratulations, six years. It's How been six feel? years since I've been on Rap Pad. Wow. Yeah, I thought, so you joined 2015, six years. I thought it was a little more than that. I thought it was like seven, but I guess, yeah, six. No, it's it's pretty cool to to still have a, a connection to the site. Like, I still use it to write. Um, and I really, I owe quite a bit to Rap Pad just in terms of my uh, growth as an artist. Um. Yeah, I, I absolutely love the platform. And shout out to a it was shout shout out to Amir too for for um for making it. Actually, I actually got to meet him actually, actually a while back. Really cool dude. He's Canadian. What? Uh, yeah, he came out to Toronto for a bit. And we went to a little a little pub bar what? sort of deal. Okay. Yeah, okay, it's cool. Wait, 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 wait a minute. You met? How was like? Wait, wait a minute, wait a minute. Let me just back back up a sec. Yeah. Like you met Amir and you've seen him. How is he? I never even met the guy. He's he's a great dude, really smart, um, really outgoing, very professional. Um, and he, he also has a love for for hip hop and I think it really shows on in how he developed Rap Ad and how much time he put into it, especially when it was just getting kind of started and gaining traction. Absolutely great guy. Oh my god. Wow, I just got first-hand access. I didn't even know he was Canadian. But that yeah. dude does explain his profile pics. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Oh, I wish I could meet the guy. When are you going to get me connected with Amir? Do you even, do you even talk, like, talk to him anymore? I, I don't speak to him much, any, like, at all anymore, but I'll see him post on Facebook every once in a while. Uh, he's kind of just doing his thing. I think he's married now, so... He's got his life. He's got his life. He's doing his thing. Yeah. Hopefully the next time you see him, you'll mention me. Hopefully. Yeah, I'll mention the, the podcast you got. Me. Yeah, no, you could pro- probably maybe get a podcast with him. That would be really cool. Yes, I've always wanted one with him. Like, that'd be a dream come true. Honestly, like, I wish I had his Facebook. I never even saw his Facebook before, ever. But like, what is it exactly? 
Do you remember? What is what? Sorry, which what? Facebook. Uh, Facebook. I, I can't give his. I can't give his Facebook away. Uh, can you at least type it in the chat? On the no, general, I can't. Just yeah. privately I, I, tell me. Yeah, like maybe like after after no, this I'll podcast, know. like I'll, I'll 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 talk to him first and then see how he feels about it. I'll, and then I'll try and I, I'll try and get you guys to meet. Okay, now that I can live with. Now that okay. I can live with. But along with the your six years, um, you have another big achievement um, that everybody should know about. Um, everybody should know about. Although you can't see it right now, Rap Hat, um, Sobe, do you remember Bittersweet? Do you remember that song? Yes, I do. With uh, King Osiris, remember? a good friend of mine. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. No, you haven't seen it. But, big news, um, this is official data, like I've been on, you know, out of this year, you guys are the most propped song of this year. You guys are the most prop song with 223 props. Congratulations. Wow, I didn't know that on Rap Pad. That's amazing. I that is really cool. Thank you for thank you for sharing that. Oh yeah, of course. Like I saw your I, I didn't even know that you even wrote that song. I saw I saw your name first of all I was like, um this can't be him and then I just saw and I was like, okay damn like I'm seeing you like like that's amazing like that's a huge like honor to get you know the most prop song ever that's amazing yeah no like i i didn't know that and right now i'm just i have the biggest smile on my face right now but it was it was a really fun song to make um and king osiris is awesome to work with uh yeah i don't know what else to say but it was fun to make that bittersweet That's really good. That's really good. And how? Ha- and and like, like, what's your relationship with King Osiris? Um, because first thing I met the guy. The, the guy's amazing. He's been on the show before. Like, we talk here and then. But how's y'all's relationship going? Uh, it, it's like kind of a professional, but also friendly relationship. Um, so we kind of stay in touch every once in a while. Um, and we get a general idea of what what each of us are, are doing in terms of music. I know that he's doing a lot of, um, what was it, uh, he's writing for people and getting paid good money to do it, um, and every once in a while he actually uh, just have me mix some of his stuff, and then, yeah, we have a little business deal kind of there, um, but yeah, and he's also Canadian, did you know that? What? Yeah, yes. yeah I think he lives in, uh, in Ottawa, I think it is. Um, so he's close to me, <coughs> but yeah, we were, we oh were thinking God. one day it would be really cool if, if we could link up and, and maybe go to a studio and just make some music together again. Cause, uh, it's, it's always fun to are make music kidding? with him. Are you? Please tell me you're kidding. What? Uh, yeah, no joke. No joke. Yeah. And he's, he's a, he's a family <laughs> man too. Like it's, it's really, I really admire the guy. He's, he's got his shit down. Like he does it all. Wait, hold on, hold on, just step it right back. You said family. What What do you mean by family person? Like, if I, I hope I'm not like exposing or anything. I don't think he minds, but I'm pretty sure he has he has a kid. But he he's doing his thing. Oh, yeah, he has a kid. Um, and he's just he's just a solid dude. I don't know what else to say about him. Like, he's really cool. That's. Wow, you blew my mind a little bit. He doesn't look Canadian, though. <laughs> uh, what are Canadians supposed to look like? Yeah. Come on, it's funny. No, I, no, I understand what you're saying. Though. Like, like I saw his Instagram, and he does not look. He does not look. He does not look Canadian. Like I, like I interviewed a lot of Canadians. He does not look like any of them. It's shocking <laughs> to just hear this right now. That's funny. Fair, no fair. Fair take. Fair take. Damn! Wow. Wow. Um, this is you know just taking what you just said, just 
just for a little bit, I'm just gonna take it in. Um, I'm just gonna take it in. Um, but um, along with that, along with all the, all the oops, exciting things, you know, those big things, you know, six years in the pop songs, you're still making music. Uh, I saw on your profile you made like I don't remember because you made you made a few new songs you did. Um, you made um, two new ones. Um, one is actually it looks like a part of a phone number. It's called six four two eight three eight. Yeah. Is that like a real phone number? No, no, no. That's just a. The two. I, the two it's just some fake phone is that number. Phone number? No, no. I was just trying to oh, grab some some it. numbers, and uh, those ones kind of sounded decent. Yeah. <laughs> But I mean, you no. can try call. You can try calling the number and then see who it is. Shit, maybe it might be somebody famous. Who knows? A little surprise. Oh wait, have you actually tried it? Have you actually tried the <laughs> number calling it? Nah, not yet. No. But that, I'm sure because it would need if if you're in Canada, like it needs an area code with it. But um, yeah. Oh, you're right. It doesn't need an area code. I couldn't even use the phone number anyway. So yeah, but but that that's song crazy. I did, it's uh quite different. From, I'm not sure like how much of it you heard, but it's quite different from the direction I'm usually going with my music. Um, are you are you familiar with like Playboy Cardi kind of rage music sort of deal? Oh yeah. Yeah. So yeah, the idea behind that like that telephone number song that I made, uh, it was I'm just trying to explore more of that kind of area of of rap. I do think that with the technology available, of like that auto tune and everything, um, I should learn how to use it better than I currently can. So that's kind of my plan for the next uh, year. Or so I I want to pump out a song a day of that style. It's ambitious, but I I can do it. I might not post it, but I'll definitely make one song a day. That's really good. I do need more music from you. Yeah, I do. Thank. Like- like overall we should talk more honestly we should like i almost forgot about you for a while i almost did (laughs) but honestly though i hope that you're going to be on rap pad more honestly i hope because what i forgot about your trophies i forgot about these yeah what are they so jealous Let's see, um, first place Cypher, second place Cypher, third place Cypher, party with the creator of Rap Hat. Yeah. Explain yourself. Uh, well, I mean, I, we kind of already touched on the, the party with the, the creator of, of Rap Hat. So well, I know, was... well, I know that. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. So, but the other ones, so no, when I, when I first joined Rap Hat, I was really, um, I was really competitive. With everything, with like, with the battles, with the the ciphers, the ciphers were a huge deal to me. Um, and it's, I'm kind of exposed. Let's start with the battles first. I'll expose myself a bit. So, so with the battles, I could I couldn't stand losing at all. Um, so what I did, I had, and there was a little bit of like psych- psychology thought behind it too. I had so my main account, Sovi, and I had like an alt account. I really hope I don't get banned for this, but uh. At the time, I would, I'd give, I'd hop on my alt account after I, I entered a battle, and I'd give myself like two votes, or something, just what? to to tip, yeah, yeah, to tip the battle like scale a bit, um, and at the time you could see who voted. I'm not sure if you still can. I don't do the battles anymore. Um, just I'll vote. No, if you can see who voted for you, um, I'm not sure. Oh if you can. yeah, you can still see that. Okay, yeah, so. So I'd do that, and then the idea was that if somebody sees the votes already, and it's like, okay, Sobe's already winging, then then it might like influence them a bit to to also choose me. Um, but again, that was when I was I was hyper competitive, <laughs> um, and it, it wasn't it, obviously it wasn't good, and I stopped doing that after about a year in into Rap Pad. But that was for the battles. As for the ciphers, I didn't cheat in those, but the ciphers. Um, 
I, I really wanted to to win these trophies. Again, I was hyper competitive, and, and the people I was competing with before I joined, there was a couple other ciphers that already went down, and I saw the winners, and I was like, damn, like those guys are good. I want to be like them. So one of the winners I, I, I remember still to this day, his name was Raheem, really Raheem. Are you familiar with him? Wait, who? Raheem. Really Raheem. Um, now he goes by Javoti. Uh, then I've seen him, yes. So anyway, so he was he was with Entreband. And at the time when I first joined, I was like, damn, like Entreband's amazing. And they're getting these trophies, so I want to like get on that level. So I started writing as best as I could. I put all my like energy into them. And I think the first one I got was was third place. I think it went in order. I, I got third, then second, and then first. Um, and I feel like may, either the third place one or the second place one was just a written. Maybe. But the first place one, um, the, the topic of it was explain what you see when you're going to like the heaven gates or something. Something like that. Uh, and I don't even remember exactly what I wrote, but it was cool. It was a cool experience. And Obviously, winning felt good, and then having the trophy there too is nice. Uh, but yeah, the goal—the goal I actually had was to fill out that box, the box you see. So it's kind of like a four by two box. It can fit in eight trophies. It was to fit in. It was to get eight trophies, but I had no idea where the other trophies would come. Because if you get if you get second place two times, then it just multiplies. It doesn't actually give you two whole new trophies in the case or whatever. But yeah. So basically, what it comes down to is when I first started rapping. With Rappet, I was hyper competitive with with uh, stats. Let's say, yeah. Oh, oh, okay. First thing, shocking that you make an alt account because like Rappet nowadays with the alt account, it banned it. I saw it on there. Somebody called out a person for making an alt account, and they, and they got banned. Like, do you still have the alt account, or you got rid of it? I don't even remember what it is anymore. So. Oh, it probably is banned by now. Maybe. It's probably gone by now. <laughs> that's, that's, that's shocking. Like, are you that competitive now? Or are you kind of like, you know, relaxed and you're okay with, you know, being second, third, fifth, fourth place? No, like, now I don't really care at all about the, the stats. Um, and I kind of just make music just to make music. And I think that's kind of a... A little downfall of my growth in terms of like play play success, number of plays and stuff, which I'm fine with. Um, but yeah, like I'm not I'm not too worried about it anymore. Like I feel more comfortable with where I am. I don't need stats to tell me how good I am, sort of deal. I think that's what it comes down to. Because again, when I was first starting, I needed to tell people like, look at my battle history. Look at my wins compared to losses, so you know you should just know I'm good, sort of deal. So, it's an external validation, sort of deal, that I had, yeah. But no more, and I don't battle anymore. I can't do it. Don't enjoy it. Why not? I just don't enjoy it too much. Um, and usually with battles, I think the proper way when you're battling, there's no beat, right? It's just you're just spitting bars at the other person, right? Um, and for me, a big part of the music oh, yeah. is, is having the beat there. Um, cause I really use it to guide my music when I'm, when I'm making anything, it's focus around the beat. That's what I always go with. Ah, oh. that, that's excellent. That's really fantastic. You know, how much you've grown, you know, from, you know, being, you know, a little, you know, that little creature that would, that would be so competitive, not being a free spirit. I mean, <laughs> I'm looking at the battles. I looked at your battle, you know, a while back, and it's like, you did St. James. St. James, I've always wanted to meet the guy, because he has, like, the most, you know, reputation. He has the most reputation. I've always wanted to meet him. Now, that's the person that I do want to, you know, have one day. It's another one. Yeah, I, no, I remember we had a little bit of beef. That was funny. Um, I'm not sure what he's doing, but I'm sure. He's still. He hasn't been on the site music. for a year. Oh wow! It tells you how long since it's been since they've been on. Yes, it does. Hmm, that's cool. Like for example, I'm gonna pull up St. James right now. Um, like for example, it'll show 
Like, for example, it shows that he was online over a year ago. Hmm. Yeah, wow. It does say, yeah. Cool. Oh, yeah. And another one that shocked me was Roan, which I didn't even know you know Roan. That was surprising. Oh, oh yeah, we had, a, we had a little battle. I remember that. I remember that exact, but that was a fun battle. Um... It was, I think oh, I, I had boss, I think did, like... I had boss up and I think that was the song I used, boss up. And he had some other really high, high tempo pace track. That's kind of his lane now, right? He's doing all that, like the faster kind of rap stuff. Very energetic. Oh, oh yeah. Definitely, definitely. And now with his like new debut album, um, he's really going all on out. I didn't even know he put out a debut album. I have to look look for that. Oh yeah, absolutely. Like, I don't know. Are you even so connected to him anymore? No, not so much. Um, I'm not connected with most of the rap patterns I used to be connected with. Like, I'll I'll, I'll keep an eye on him every once in a while. Like, uh, uh, Clyde. I'll look at what he's doing. I respect what he's doing. Um, K K and B. Uh, I like seeing what she's up to every once in a while. Yeah, and there's also mm, there's a couple more. I, I forget the names, but I always check in on them. Oh, I see, I see. Well, there was a rapper who I thought you knew, K Satana, which I thought because he was in Insane Year You joined too. He was in he was in Insane Year, which I was going to ask him, but I was like. I'm just, I'm gonna just keep it for next time. That was another oh, one who I who thought is it? you knew. Who is it? Who is it? Who is it? K Santana. You don't know who he is? Oh, K Santana. Oh, oh, I didn't hear the name. No, I've seen him. I've seen him around. Um, and I actually, I, I, he 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 made a new post recently uh, on rap. And I, I clicked on the song. And it was pretty good. I don't I don't follow him that much. I'm not very familiar with his stuff, but I do I do I do notice him around. Oh, that's really good. That's really good. Really good. Um, now that we've talked about rap had long enough, um, I'd like to get into, you know, the reality. Because rap had a little too dark for me. Ha! Get it? Get it? <laughs> the, 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 rap, the, side, the side's dark and... <laughs> I'm funny. Um, anyway. Um... <clears throat> One thing, though, that I was very curious, because you, because I know you made a song, you know, you made a song yesterday, actually, too. You made a song very recently, yesterday, actually. Mm-hmm. Um, I should be going along faster. Um, along with the two songs you made, like, are you planning to release, you know, any new stuff? Are you planning to release, you know, any more stuff? EP album you play like what are your plans for the um for music yeah so uh for the upcoming year like uh i'm not going to be releasing any projects at least as of now definitely not i'm not a i'm not very into projects i don't want to make them and i i don't have a, a big enough fan base where i think it's it's warranted um and then as I will be. I will try to be releasing music basically every day, and it, and it's not so much for for the listener though. If they find value in what I do release, amazing. Um, but it's more for me to catalog my progress. Um, because honestly, I do think when I when I post things online, especially YouTube, it's a great place to just store stuff. Um, and 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 to see, because with SoundCloud, for example, they have an upload limit. Uh, and I reached it a while ago, and then once I reached it, I I just stop up. I stopped uploading to SoundCloud. Uh, and I, I probably shouldn't do that, but I do. It's just my thing. I I do I do like how YouTube, at least to my knowledge, it doesn't have an upload limit. So I I find that attractive. And I've lost actually a lot of songs with my uh, previous hard drives, memories, stuff like computer related things, and it 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 hurt. Like deep down, it really hurt me knowing I lost kind of time capsules into my own life of my different memories. 
Because a lot of the times when I make these different songs, it, 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 it connects me to that time I made it. Really, that's what it does. So, it, yeah. I kind of veered off track a bit, but you expect music basically every week. There's going to be new music every week. And like I said before, it's going to be more um, experimental on my end, more kind of rage-like, um, a little bit more mainstream approach to the music. Yay, I am so excited. I'm so stoked. Yay, I'm so, so exciting. Um, so exciting, I can't wait. Um, so I presume you're already working on, you know, music. You know, I know you can't share any of it because of, you know, who you are, but one thing, though, um, what will it sound like? Um, I know you can't tell us, but... You know, can you at least, you know, give us a little teaser of what's, you know, you know what, you know, of your new music. What will the music sound like? Is that your question? Yeah, there's a little, t- just, you know, uh, just so, the sound, you know, the vibe. Or, you know. So I'll tell you what I'm trying to go for. Because, um, again, I'm still developing this sound on my end. But it's going to be more like Playboy Cardi, Trippy Red, um, and... More artists, because I, I don't listen to the genre enough to really know what what I could kind of explore. So my goal, before I can give you a solid answer, I have to find different artists in that kind of area of music that that I can borrow ideas from. Because uh, it it's kind of niche, but at the same time it's popular. So for example, if I post something on RatPad, like the last two songs I posted... One was the, like, the telephone number one, and then the other one's Japanese bitch. Like, if, I, if a rap patter listens to those, some of them might really enjoy it, and they see like, the kind of like parallels to rage music or w- what it's trying to be like sort of deal. But others just won't accept it at all because it is kind of out there. And I'm actually kind of that listener where when I'm listening to rage, it's a little bit odd to me, but I can, I can see the appeal in it. And... Even if I don't stay in the rage lane, whatever I explore in that that domain of art, I can extract and then use for future art that I make, sort of deal. Oh. Oh, touch me right here. That touched me. But I'm glad you're taking your music career, you know, more seriously and... So I cannot wait. I'm so excited to, you know, see more stuff. Another thing, one thing that you need to put on your, you know, vision board or like a the list, a bucket list is you need to be more active on Discord. That's another thing you should. Discord's where it's at, yeah? I should. I should, got I should. it. Yeah, no, like, I am... I'm looking on my sidebar right now. I have some Discord channels I'm in, um, hip hop related, but it does seem like it's a very it's a very good way to grow more and to get acquainted with like who's out there doing what sort of deal and more personal. So I I totally agree. I should definitely get into Discord stuff more. Oh yeah, and now that you now that you met me and now we're friends, um, I got a lot of connections for you and. The ways and benefits and, you know, solutions, if you may, you know, to help boost your career. That would be much appreciated. I love to communicate, interact with everybody that you, that you do. And I exchange uh, some good times, yeah. Absolutely. I mean, I get anything for you, like, you know... It was a dream come true whenever you responded to me because I thought you hated me after you unfollowed <laughs> me. Like I thought you hated me for a while. No, like like I said, like the rap had the the following list for me. It it's not too important to me. Um, I just I just honestly I just happened to I guess unfollow you. Um, and like I said, I think we talked about this a little bit before the podcast too. There's there's still people I know I should be following, or that I don't know why I'm unfollowing. For example, Sutherland. A good friend um, that was active on RapPad, I no longer follow stuff like that. So, uh, but it doesn't mean I don't care think. about you. I, st- yeah, I still check up on your podcast, like I said, right? So I, I do appreciate Wait, you what you do. 
Yeah, yeah, I told you. I, I check into Hyde. Wow. Like, I watched Hyde, the podcast with Hyde, podcast with Sly, I think I said it was, podcast with Love Sad Kid. I check in. Oh, oh dude. Oh, that touches me a lot. That touches me so much. And it's. I'm sorry, about to cry. Um, that's amazing that you tune in. That's very shock. That's very good. Oh. Sorry, about to give me harm roll over here. Oh. I'm about to joke on raining. Sorry. Um, but you just. Are you this calm in real life, honestly? You look so calm and gentle. Are you like this in real life? <laughs> I'm, I'm. I'm pretty calm in real life. I, I, I think so. I, I'm an easygoing guy. I'll say that. I'm very easygoing. Uh, the only time I'm kind of on the edge or is, is with my music. That's all. That's the only time. So, so yeah. Very laid oh. back approach. Very laid back, yeah. Only in Canada. <laughs> yeah. Sorry, though, I should not be saying that. Just let's just forget I said that. <laughs> no, it's no, okay. I'm just joking. <clears throat> it's all good. Do you remind me, like, you know, you said you're like you're in Canada, right? Mm-hmm. You remind me. There's this guy that runs a label, and you remind me so much of him. And he's from Canada? Yes, he's from, uh, I think, Toronto. Oh, wow. That's cool. I'm, I'm from there, too. That's cool. Oh, yeah, absolutely. You should get in touch with him and, you know, you know, get the, you know, the label sign on you. Get it? Label sign. Ah, I'm so yeah, I, <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I know. Well, you'll have to link me his stuff, his info. I'm gonna look into it, definitely. Oh yeah, absolutely. Frankly, I'm gonna give you this. Um, you know, this is a server. Check it out when you get a chance. Okay, okay. Mortal. I love to right, yeah. Sweet. That's good, that's good. Ooh. Um, shoot. Now to can now to celebrate your six year, you know, being there. What was your favorite moment? You know, from rap had like what was your best favorite moment? Oh, I, I I can't I can't say there was any favorite moment, but there was an experience, just a, an overall experience of like the twenty. I'd say 2016, 2015, when I was first starting, um, I could spend all day on Rat Pad just talking with like a, a bunch of other creators. Like I, I'd have my screen open on one side, talking to them, making music on the other, and just doing that. I did it. I did it every day, and and the feeling, it was kind of like a home feeling. It just felt so nice. So there wasn't any particular experience, like one event, but that that entire like year was. Ah, it's unforgettable. Absolutely amazing. Um, but but like some cool other things that that would pop up that I'm that made me kind of feel like proud and accomplished as an artist would just be more like uh, connections I have to other artists that are kind of doing good. So for example, um, the first one. Are you familiar with Project? Uh, wait, is that a user or an actual, like, name? User and artist. User and artist. Project. Ooh. Iffy. I don't think so. Okay, it's okay. So he, he's a Florida artist, and he was popping off about the same time that X was starting to pop off. And, I mean, not obviously not on the same level, but it was heading in that direction. And at the time of that year when we were... I think it was 2017, I want to say. Um, 2017. Yeah, sure, let's say that. Uh, 
I wanted to join a rap group really badly. And the one I wanted to join was Entreband. So at the time, Entreband was like, there's Mac, there's Soli, who, who's now Soli had, he went by had. Um, there was a couple other guys, Dom, really Raheem. I wanted to join that group badly. And this other guy, Project, also wanted to join the group, and neither of us could get in. And what ended up happening is Project made uh, a rap group called The God's Movement. A little bit of a cringe name, in my opinion, but when, when that formed and I joined, I was so happy. Uh, and it was, it was, that was a cool, cool experience, just joining a rap group, because it kind of like solidifies your, um, what, what is it, your image. You're like, you're a rapper, like you're in a rap group, come on. So there was that, and then, so that was a cool experience, but nothing really, not too much came from that experience of, or that, that event of joining the rap group. And in fact, what ended up happening, Project, the guy, he ended up falling off the face of the earth. I don't know where he went, but he comes back a year later and his songs are getting like millions of plays afterwards. And like he, he he's completely out of touch with me, which is fine. I, I couldn't care less. Like it's fine. Um, but to see that growth for an artist that I was just rapping with was really cool. So things like that. I like hopping on board on artists that aren't big yet, but I think we'll, we'll get big. And I, I did it with two other artists. So the other artist I did with was, was Love Sad Kid. We made a little uh, song together. And then after that song, yeah, no, it was really cool. Um, and then after that song, maybe six months later, he started gaining a lot more traction. And now I can know, I'm like, yeah, I have a song with him. How cool is that? And I don't even need to like tell other people. It. I mean, if it comes up in, in conversation or if I'm on a podcast, I'm trying to tell you about my kind of experience, then I'll talk about it. But it's enough for me to just know I have a song with that person. And you know, you know Love Side Kid, right? Now he's got millions of plays too, right? Oh, yeah. And then, the, and then another, like the last one where something similar happened, it was with, um, there's a guy named Lil God Dan. Again, I came, this wasn't so much rap ad. So I'm going a little off track, but this is the last kind of event that I have in mind. Uh, I came across him on some small music channel where they post daily new new songs from different artists. And I heard his song. I was like, shit, like, I need this guy on a, on a song with me really quick. So I got, I, I arranged a song with him. And the song is called Moonlight, I think it is, that I have with him. And lovely song that we made. It's not like popular at all by any means. It only has like 400 songs, but I love the song. And now this guy, Lil God Dan, again, millions of plays he's getting. So it's cool to, cool to see that where I'm working with artists on the caliber I think I could be in the future sort of deal. And they're there now sort of deal. Oh, yeah, absolutely. And you got a lot. You, know, you, you got a lot in your belt, so... You know, I get to see how you do with it um, in the future, you know, because, you know, like people say, anything's possible. Yeah, it just takes one song, right? It does. It does. It does. And sometimes not just one song, sometimes just multiple songs, you know, you know, building up a catalog, sometimes like that. Yeah, that too, definitely. Oh yeah, absolutely. And yeah, sorry, I was a little shocked at the moment. Um, especially love side. I'm trying to get him on here. That's another one. I for- I knew I forgot. I feel like you that and pro- I feel- project, project, project. Yeah, I feel like you interviewed love side kid. Did you not? No, that was sly. Okay, okay, okay. Interesting. I'm trying to get him for months. Ugh. Dang it. Ugh. I've been trying to get him forever. Hopefully it will happen soon. Ugh. Another one. But, anyway. Um... By the way, by the way, I'm curious to know, also curious, um, what profile pic as a rapper, is that what you look like now, or did you, like, change your whole look? Um, 
My well, my hair in that profile pic is dyed. It's a little bit blonder than it actually is in the picture. I I have Still, brown more brown hair. Yeah, yeah, I did. I, I oh, you have brown to change hair. it up. Yeah, it's more. It's a little like dirty blonde brownish. Um, but my hair's about a little longer. And I've been experimenting with like little braids on the side sort of deal sometimes, um, but yeah, I, I, more or less I look the same. <laughs> yeah, look the same as I do in that picture. That's good. The next thing I'll need to see is a face because all I see is your mask. But we'll see the face soon. <laughs> yeah, you, I'm sure you will on I Instagram. Have, I have a feeling. I have a feeling. What? Oh wait, your Instagram. That's right. Yeah. Face. Instagram Sobe Sonics S O B Y S O N I C S. Oh yes. Yeah. So on Me. there, you'll 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 see pictures. It's mostly videos of me just rapping, actually, on, on my Insta. But then you can see my face. <laughs> That's really good. You look like Cody Simpson. <laughs> <laughs> That's funny. That's what I thought in the first place when I saw it. I was like, is that Cody Simpson? Because you know that he has that blonde hair too. Um, True. Yeah. He looked like an older Ross Lynch. <laughs> <laughs> funny. That's funny. Thank God. So I need to relax from that. Um, I need to relax from that for a sec. Oh. As you mentioned those rap patterns earlier, um, are any of them, you know, connected, you know, to you, or you just kind of forgot about all of them? Sorry, can you repeat that? Are you still connected with um, some of the rap patterns in the past, or are you, um, you just forgot about them? Um, some of them I still talk to, like Ellie, Ellie Waves I'll talk to. Um, King Osiris. I love Ellie. Yeah, so yeah, we we have a good connection. Um, he's doing his thing. Ellie Waves, I'll keep in touch with. King Osiris, I'll keep in touch with. Uh, but I think that's most. That's that's basically it. That's who I like. Actually, like talk to oh. every once in a while. Other than that, no, not really, not too much. Dude, I love Ellie. He was actually on this show a couple, uh, almost a year ago. I feel like I've probably listened to his, his podcast too then. Definitely, like if he was on here, I, I would have definitely listened to him. Yes, he was actually on here. Most definitely. Now, he's amazing. Yeah, he, he writes some dope stuff. And he's a dope dude. He's cool. Oh yeah, absolutely. I'll never forget him. I'm never... Definitely, definitely. Um, and, you know, this was good. You know, it was amazing. Like, as you said, like, I, okay, as I said, this was this is a dream come true. So even, you know, for you to even say yes, I mean, uh, was amazing. I really appreciate what what you're doing. It's awesome. Absolutely, we got to chat about your music. You know, of course, I apologize if most of it was about rap, ad, but um, <laughs> that's fine. I apologize again if it was like that's over anything. Um, but you know, I'm excited. You know, uh, I'm stoked. Um, I'm excited and. You know, I can't wait to see what this 2022 year looks for you. Any goals for the next year? Do I have any goals, is, did you ask? Yeah. Yeah. Um, just just to be consistent with making music. That re that's really it. I'd like to find more artists um, that I can work with again that, like I said, aren't, aren't popular yet, but I think could be. I really think that's fun to do. I do want to 
make my YouTube channel a little bit more interactive as well. So not it won't only be music that I'm posting. It'll be a little bit of like maybe some reactions, just so people can get to know me more as a person. Um, so it just oh, won't yeah. just be music straight up. But other than that, like not too many, not too many hard goals. Not really. Pretty good goals. That's pretty good. That's pretty good. And you know, hopefully, you interact with us. I got tons of opportunities coming up, and hopefully, you'll be a part of them. Um, like, like now, actually, which you saw in the which which you saw in the server, you know that virtual concert going on. That's another one I do want you to hopefully be a part of soon. Um, so the next one, a couple of months, actually. Hopefully, you'll be a part of that. I'd love to. That would be awesome. It's really good. And, you know, I would love to see you know, react to, you know, reviews. You know, for a minute, I thought you said, you know, co-hosting her sec, you know, show. But I, but I was like, nah, he didn't say that. I know you meant review. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, you might review. Um, yeah, I would love to see the YouTube uh, channel come to life a little bit more, at least. Um, and yeah, such great goals. I'm excited and proud of you. Thank you very much. And I hope, hopefully, after this, you won't forget about me again. Nah, I won't forget about you. Like I said, I'll, I'll always check in on the on the podcast, and now I'll check in on the Discord too more now because you mentioned that I should be doing that. You should you should? I shouldn't see I shouldn't see any part of you be offline. <laughs> all right, all right, <laughs> yeah. sounds good. Yay! Um, yeah, I'm excited. Thank you again for being here. Um, this was absolutely a dream come true. Is there anything you'd like to say lastly to the audience out there? No, just enjoy the year. Enjoy the new year. Um, that's it. I, and thank you. Thank you very much for having me. I really appreciate it. Your time. It's lovely. Yeah. Yeah, of course. Of course. And is this your first one or did somebody already catch you? Is this my first witch? First, like, interview, or did somebody catch you already? Oh, I've had interviews in the past, but not this long. Definitely not this long. Um, and it was, like, pre-pandemic. So um, was it, like... Oh, so were they, like, in person, or were they, like, virtual with a camera on? In, in person, so it would have been in Toronto. Like, after all, I do an open mic, some little, like, uh... Not, not a news station, like a blog state like an on i don't even know how to say it. let's say a news station like a, a small a small news station just run by like a couple people and they'll try and get some news a news outlet let's say yeah something like that they'll just ask a couple questions oh. post post show or something like that and then post them up but nothing in depth like this ah oh, so this is your first like professional interview it's your first one this is this is my first professional interview yeah You got it, yeah. Congrats. Just wanted to make sure. Just wanted to make sure you weren't like a giveaway or like um, a hand me down. <laughs> okay, now that was funny. Nah, <laughs> you got me. You got me fresh. You got me fresh. Yo, so okay. Sounds sounds good to me. Um, but again, thank you. Uh, everybody, make sure you check out Sobi down below. Leave provided rap hatters. I got Sobi on here, so I want to come on and you know join the little family I got going on. If you guys remember him, make sure to tune in. Um, exciting things coming, and since this is the first time, some of you might be the first time you ever heard of the guy. I don't know, crazy. Um, make sure check out Sobi down below. Have a great. New Year. Probably we'll talk after. Um, a great New Year, everybody. I'll see you all in 2022. Love y'all. And I'll see you guys um, later. Well, you'll see me a lot. Um, see you guys uh, next time. Peace out.